Hello and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor. And in this video, we're going to be going over stroke and borders in Adobe Muse. Uh, it'll be a quick video uh, just to show you this uh, function here in Adobe Muse. Uh, so here I have this uh, rectangle with an image inside of it uh, with, with uh, yeah, my logo text here. And what I'm going to do <laughs> is show you how to add a border to uh, any rectangle or even text, text box that, that you have. So if I click on the image, uh, right up here we have the stroke function. Uh, right now the stroke is set to zero and the color is set to none. But if I go here and I change the, the stroke to black, uh, we now have a, a stroke that's one pixel in width. As we can see here, the stroke is black and the stroke weight is one. So if I preview this in the browser, we now have a border around this image. And if I increase it to 10, it gets thicker. The weight of the border gets thicker. All right. So let's say uh, I just want a border on the bottom and the top of this uh, image. Uh, the way to do that is you just click on stroke right up here. And then right here where it says weight, uh, you'll see this little link uh, here. This means that any changes you make to one stroke uh, here in the weight here, we have the top, the bottom, the left, and the right. So if I make a change to the top uh, border here, to like let's say 15, or not 165, 15, hit enter, you can see that all the other edges uh, change to 15 as well. But if I click this uh, link button here in the middle and unlink them, you can see they're now unlinked. Uh, if I go ahead and make the left and the right zero, uh, it just takes off the border on the left and the right, and I'm left with a border on the top and on the bottom. So if I hit Command Shift E, I now have a border on the top and the bottom of this image, and it's kind of a uh, kind of really nice effect there. Kind of makes it look uh, I don't want to say cinematic, but like the image is within uh, kind of that frame, the bottom and, and the top uh, frame. So I can do that with uh, any other images. I can even do that with uh, this text here. If I want to just put the, the stroke on the left and the right, um, I click on stroke where it says weight. Um, I just, uh, yeah, let me unlink it here first. And then here where it says left stroke weight and right stroke weight, I give it um, a stroke. So I just say five here on the left and five on the right. And now that has a stroke as well. So I have uh, the stroke here on the left and the right. And then let's go back to stroke. And we also have this align property here um, where it aligns the stroke uh, to the inside or the outside of, of your text box. It can align it to the center of the box, to the inside or to the outside. It just changes it ever so slightly, but it could have a, uh, kind of a dramatic effect depending on the style of your website. So I'll go ahead and insert one more Im one more image just to uh, show this effect kind of one more time. So I create a rectangle with the rectangle tool. Go to fill, add image, and I'll just pick one of these images here. Um, yeah, I'll pick this one here, and I'll scale to fill, and or scale. Yeah, scale to fill, and I'll center it there. Center it. Here we go. Now we have that. And I can pick uh, the stroke. I'm going to put a stroke around the whole uh, image. I'm going to say 10. And then for uh, the color, I'm going to change the color of the stroke. So I select the image. Where it says stroke, I go to the uh, drop down here. I select the eyedropper tool, and I'm going to make it this red. And if I hit Command Shift E, we now have that red stroke around this image, which looks very nice. We can even um, round the edges of the stroke by going over here uh, where these corners are. Uh, this is the corner radius here, this section. And if I just click on the corner radius, uh, it turns it into a semicircle. And now the, uh, the corners have a radius of 10, so they're not so sharp and we have this kind of less sharp uh, border around it. And I can even increase the radius uh, to, you know, to 100. 100 is the maximum, or 
At least I thought it was. No, nope. you can go past 100. Okay, I think maybe 250 is the max. Or 200 is the max. And if I hit Command Shift E, this image is now in kind of a semicircle uh, here in, in an oval shaped uh, border, which is pretty cool. You can see all the different design capabilities you have. And if I set it to zero, I go back to sharp edged corners. And again, if I want to just have it on the bottom and the top, I go to stroke, uh, unclick this link tool, and then make the left and right zero and zero. And now if I go here, I have just the top and the bottom. This image is just in the top and the bottom has the border on it. All right, so that can make for a really cool website and really nice design. So uh, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.